Hi folks, I'm Raz and in today's video I'm going to share with you how to report academic writing task 1 overview and practice. So let's start. Alright, let's take a look at the two tasks. The first is task 1 report writing academic 150 to 180 words in 20 minutes. Task 2 is essay writing both academic general 250 to 80 words in 40 minutes. So hey, here we are going to talk about task 1 report writing for academic. Now let's take a look at the task assessments. A 25% goes to task achievement, which you need to answer everything you're asked to do in the question. The other 25% goes to coherence and cohesion, use structured paragraphs and make standard expressions. The other 25% is lexical resource, use wide range of vocabulary. And the last is grammar range and accuracy. Make sure you include different kinds of sentences ranging from simple compound and complex. Now, let's take a look at the segregation of the paragraphs, friends. So, paragraph 1 is introduction, paragraph 2 is overview or summary, paragraph 3 is make analysis and group comparisons of different years, and paragraph 4 is make analysis and group comparisons of remaining years. Now, let's take a look at the types of the graphs so we can get anything like a bar graph, pie chart, table, line graph, flow chart. So here, if you want to describe facts and figures, take help of bar graphs, describe trends through line graphs, comparison through tables and pie charts, describe process diagram or a map, and describe a flow chart. Now here, let's take a look at the recent exam question, graph one. You should spend about 20 minutes on this task. The pie charts below show the comparison between different retail products in years 2010 and 2015. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. Write at least 150 words. Let's take a look at the pie chart here. So we have two different pie charts. One is for year 2010, the other is for 2015. So let me present an idle answer that can help you score a good band. The pie chart compared the online retail shopping trends in Australia in 2010 with that of 2015. Overall, electronic products, food and furniture comprise the highest percentage of online sales in Australia in both years. According to the illustration, 27% of online retail sale in Australia in 2010 was made by electric appliances, which was followed by home furnishing and food and beverage commerce with uh, exactly 22 and 21% respectively. Video games purchased by Australian consumers comprised 19% of total online sales this year. Finally, gift and book sales accounted for 7% and 4% of online retail sales consecutively in 2010. After half a decade, electric product sale escalated by 5% and it comprised one-third of the total online sales in 2015. However, e-commerce of food and beverage items slightly rose, while a nominal decline could be observed in the trade ratio of furniture. The video games became less popular among Australian online consumers as its sale dropped below half. While a surge could be noticed in the gift item sale ratio, last but not least, books as an online retail product were sold more in percentage in 2015 than that in 2010. All right, let's take a look at the next recent exam question. You should spend about 20 minutes on this task. The bar chart below shows Scotland's exports to the rest of the UK and the rest of the world for the year 2014. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. Write at least 150 words. Now let's take a look at the bar graph, friends. This is the Scotland's export to the rest of the UK and the rest of the world in 2014. Now let me present an idle answer that can help you score a good band. The bar graph reveals data on Scotland's export revenue to the United Kingdom as well as the rest of the world in 2014. 
Overall, the paramount export earning for Scotland came from business services including hotels and chemical and mineral products, while the UK was the largest market for electrical and instrument engineering goods manufactured by Scotland. According to the bar graph, Scotland's total export revenue in 2014 was roughly £75 billion and approximately £21 billion of this revenue came from the UK. On the contrary, food and drink, chemical and mineral, electrical instruments and business services brought 4.454 and 1.7 billion export revenue respectively from the UK. Those industries generated 5.8, 9.5, 2.3 and 13.8 billion pounds earning consequentially for Scotland in 2014 from the global export except the UK. In contrast, Scotland generated the highest export figure from business services with over 15 billion pounds, while the second highest came from chemical and mineral industry. Howbeit, the export amount from the UK in the engineering industry exceeded the global export earning, while Scotland earned the least revenue from the agriculture, forestry, fishing, and mining industries. The UK was its largest market for food, chemical, and engineering products. So thank you so much friends for watching this video and keep watching more IELTS writing videos and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.